Life can change in an instant. For many wheelchair users, the struggle to push forward is a daily challenge. After years of development and countless prototypes, we created Rib Grips, the revolutionary wheelchair hand rim covers with built-in ribs for ultimate grip and comfort. No more slick surfaces, no more heat burns, just pure, reliable grip. Rib Grips, empowering you to push forward with ease. Rib Grips, get a grip on your freedom. Discover the difference. Visit ribgrips.com and use promo code GRIP today. You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Andrew G and welcome to episode 34 of my podcast, The Public Affair. Um, this has been a really crazy week and that is why we've got some Jack Daniels, darling. <laughs> okay, But, uh, you know, we improvise and we make everything work here at Rogue Media Network. So shout out to Mike Hamilton for being the king of everything. Thank you so much for all your help, man. And I got Aaron out there too, working his butt off to make this episode possible for you all. So thank you guys um, for the support of The Public Affair. I really appreciate it. Um, of course, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to some of our sponsors of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to you by Arjon Painting with my boy Juan Arjon. He's a family-owned local paint company that specializes in residential homes, both interior and exterior, and he offers the best quality guarantee. So if you need your home painting, um, I don't know why you would call anybody else besides Arjon Painting because he's the best, darling. Thank you so much, Juan Arjon, for sponsoring the public affair. So my boy, Marcos Cordero with Midway Nutrition. He's located on Hewitt Drive. He has meal replacement shakes with tons of different flavors. Um, so if you're looking for a little bit more of a healthier lifestyle, of course, my favorite is the Honey Nut Cheerio. Make sure you hit up Midway Nutrition with my boy, Marcos Cordero. He also has Waco Nutrition and Energy located on space so thank you guys so much for sponsoring the public affair to my boy frank biza with bnj refinishing he focuses on the resurfacing of bathtubs counter sinks tiles and more to original showroom quality offers five-year warranty on most work and has the best prices in town so he's not going to break those pockets my boy frank is the best so if you guys need any of that work done make sure you hit him up he also has co-town tint which he regularly details my car now with co-town tint because i'm not taking it nowhere else because he's the best dude uh, he's a mobile tint and detailing business that offers the best high quality film and products and will be all competitor prices so if you need any of that work done you got to hit up my boy frank biza he's like a jack of all trades frank Congratulations on all your successes and thank you for sponsoring the public affair. Of course, to my boy David Santabanez with Alinea Real Estate. He's the number one sales agent in his office. He'll help you buy a home or sell your home. Make sure you follow him on Facebook at David with Alinea or call the number on the screen, darling, for all your real estate needs. David, thank you so much for sponsoring the public affair. Oh my goodness, you guys, Fat Boy Micheladas and Botanas is back. Yes, my boy Junior Banda, I love it so much. Uh, he provides the best Micheladas and Botana plates that you'll ever have for yourself or for a party. He's locally operated too, so make sure you get the best and not there as darling. Uh, congratulations, Junior, on your newborn child and to the revival of Fat Boy Michelada and Botana. So make sure you guys hit him up if you guys need any of that for your parties. And to my new sponsor with Mr. Jose Orvera for Brothers Construction, he provides custom home designs and renovations, also focuses on plumbing, which we all need, roofing, <laughs> tree removal, electrical work, and much more. So make sure you call the number on the screen with my boy Jose Orvera. Thank you so much, Jose, for watching The Public Affair and, of course, sponsoring as well. All right, guys. So I'm really excited about this episode. Originally, we were going to have Israel Salazar on this episode, but due to technical difficulties and the stupid ass snowstorm, <laughs> we had to improvise. So um, episode 34 is actually going to um, feature my friend Jeffrey Monreal with Boyo Box and Audio. How you doing, man? I'm good. Thank you. Well, first of all, let me just say thank you so much for all the sponsorship you've done for the public affair and for building me a new car from the ground up. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're very welcome. And, and thank you for coming on the show. I know we had to reschedule because we yes. just went through that terrible ice mm -hmm. storm. How did you like manage? Man, uh, well, we had electricity up until maybe Sunday. Oh, okay, yeah. And then, uh, oh, so you've been out since Sunday? Yeah, and but Ooh. but uh, luckily my uh, my wife's sister, yeah, she they they didn't lose electricity. Oh, good. So we basically were over there, bro. Let me tell you something. I was out of power for three days. Then I get my power back on. Then the pipes burst. I'm in a hotel right now. It's oh, it's the most ridiculous thing in the whole entire Texas was not built for the <laughs> snowstorm that we had. It wasn't even a snowstorm. It was like ice. Like that yeah. was it. you know what I mean? It was yeah, just it was terrible. We got down to like zero degrees. It was fucking terrible. So we got the Jack. Um, yes. I asked um, Jeffrey what he wants, and he just said some Jack and Coke. 
sounds appropriate. Let's yeah. pour up. <laughs> yeah, know? definitely. And I just want to say it's so funny too. So, um, okay, so Jeffrey actually sponsors the Public Affair at Boyle Box and Audio. So you focus on custom subwoofer enclosures, speakers, and all that. Mm-hmm. I didn't do your ad because of course we've got a whole episode okay. dedicated to you. Oh, now. I understand. Yeah, so it was so cute because when you were pulling up, all you hear is boom, boom, boom. I was like, yeah, I'll give you guys twenty dollars as Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded very South Side ish, which I'm kind of digging. Oh, no, that was actually uh, I think it was a Don Omar. With, yeah, uh, it was. It was a reggaeton song for sure. Yeah, yeah. or something like that. I think. You know what? I don't know what it was, but it definitely took me back to my, um, you know, my hood days. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. You know when I was from the hood. <laughs> 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 and so um, I thought it was right here. You got to open that because I'm I'm shaking right now. But no, it was it was really cool. Um, you know, to hear you come in like that or whatever, and it just. It was funny. <laughs> I, just, I just thought it was very funny. And let me tell you something about that Jack Daniels. Do you have to go through hell for that shit? Oh, man. did you? Yes, I did. Because I went to the liquor store. I'm not going to name which liquor store because we don't want to get sued, right, Mike? <laughs> but the guy was such an asshole. I'll tell you what. It wasn't Twin Liquors. <laughs> the guy was such an asshole to me. And I was like, just give me the stupid Jack Daniels. And he like, it was this whole thing, Jeffrey. Okay. So I went through hell for you today. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for building me a car. I appreciate it. And <laughs> I, I didn't even. Oh, shit. That's a lot. <laughs> this is how I'm feeling with the Jack yeah. and the Coke. Yeah, after this whole snowstorm. Yeah, basically. I got you. Well, Jeffrey, while we're over here pouring ourselves drinks, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us about a little about who you are and where you're from and all that? Yeah. Uh, well, my name's Jeffrey Montreal. Hey. Um, I live in the South. Was I, I was raised in the South. Okay. I, I was my parents because of my dad working construction. We were in Dallas, Austin, just moving from you know place to place. But whenever I was eight, about eight years old, yeah, we Sorry, just uh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but when I was eight, that's whenever I guess I don't know for some reason they decided to just land in Waco. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah. so they, they immigrated here from Mexico. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That seems to be the case with a lot of my yeah. last few days. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I promise that wasn't planned. That just <laughs> well, in a case it was, but not for you it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So you grew up here in Waco, pretty mm-hmm. much. Okay. Yeah, basically. Uh, where'd you go to high school? Everybody likes to shout out where they went to high school. University. Uh, did I hear that, or was it because I was pouring myself half the cup of fucking Jack? <laughs> oh, no. no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I went to university. Mm-hmm. Uh, grew up, like I said, grew up in the south. Mm-hmm. Went to university, so been in the south. Ugh. Since forever, I'm, I guess. That's really awesome, Jeffrey. I'm just going to say, um, the way this is working, I don't know what's going to happen throughout this episode. I might just throw away the whole cue card and just whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay so, yeah. Um, well, like I said, guys, earlier, we uh, Jeffrey and I had to postpone this episode, and then we had to push the episode up. It's been a little bit of a crazy ride for us here in Texas. Everybody's going through a lot of things yes. right now. Um, has the snowstorm that we just had affected you personally or, like, business-wise? Um, not, not really. Uh, just, uh, I mean, I didn't have electricity, so that basically meant that I couldn't do anything, mm. you know? Oh, yeah, because you're an electrician. Yeah. I'm kind a, of. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you need electricity, you need well, light. Well, you heaters. do audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Kind of the same thing, I guess. Yeah. Not really, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, it's so cute because, like, um, I had I just started my new full-time job, which I never named my jobs in the public affair. I really just figured it out, right? And so they made me do an electrical training class, which was, like, the worst <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> Can you guys imagine me doing electrical training? It was terrible. And I had to go in there, and they were like, okay, the ground wire goes with the hot wire. And I was just thinking, I was like, I really hope this shit blows up in my face, and I just, like pass out or die like this is so boring you know what i mean and so when i'm um jeffrey has actually installed apple carplay stereos apple play car stereos in my car i always fuck that up yeah and um, you got a backup camera on there Mm -hmm. he said he was gonna put um a custom subwoofer in there for me yeah but i don't but you know see jeffrey my song right now is positions by ariana grande i don't know if i can necessarily be booming to that like that what do you think if i roll up to your house like that are you gonna judge me no 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 (laughs) you know that song uh, yeah, yeah, but okay. uh, <laughs> the thing about these songs is that, uh, like, 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 there's there's songs out there that mm-hmm. that you wouldn't think, oh, it doesn't that have bass, like and that, then yeah. they do. Well, Ariana Grande got that bass, so yeah, yeah especially I mean, positions. Though, oh yeah, right? yeah, especially. I mean, we're, we'll, we'll have to play with the tuning, see yeah, what yeah. you listen to, and see what everything's at. You know, what kind of frequency it plays yeah, at, I and got what you. tune at. Okay. That. How did, hey, you know, I, I know we're harping on the snowstorm here, but how did you guys survive? So you said you went to your sister-in-law's house, mm-hmm. correct? Okay, so um, were you guys having a hard time finding stuff at the store, too? Like, how, I mean, how, what was that like? Because here's my thing. I, my friends, and it's the whiskey, guys. <laughs> my friends, like, I have really great friends. First of all, let me just take a minute to give a shout out to my friends Israel Carbajal and Jennifer Rimlinger uh, for letting me stay at their house. And, of course, to Adrian Fajardo, Public Affair Alumni, Episode 6, one of my favorite episodes, and his wife, Cece, who I loved. And um, we talked about Jesus. It was really different. you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, which Cece um, taught me how to put cinnamon and coffee grass. Anyway, um, so shout out to you guys for letting me stay at your house and to all my friends that checked up on me. I really appreciate it. But I feel like the snowstorm hindered a lot of things. It was like an inconvenience and i fucking hated it you know yeah, what yeah. i mean yeah we we kind of prepared you know ourselves yeah. uh we weren't planning on electricity going out mm-hmm. but it has gone out in the past so we're like you know what okay. you know but but what, what i did is uh friday 
was it Friday? Friday, yeah. I went, I went and went, I went to go do a little shopping. Yeah, yeah. I didn't buy nothing too excessive, nothing that that in case electricity didn't yeah, go out, definitely. nothing that go go to waste or yeah. whatever. So I just bought just necessary things, and, right. and like I said, we were good until like. Sunday morning at 2 a.m., lights went out. <laughs> the worst time, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Could you imagine, like, could it have gone out? I, like, I wouldn't mind if the power would go out this week when it's, like, 70 degrees. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, I can open my windows. I'm chilling. Whatever. Mm -hmm. But why has to go out when it's zero degrees? It's yeah. never zero degrees in Texas. Yeah, exactly. I was so pissed. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it, it was. I, I just felt like it was more an inconvenience. And for the viewers as well, um, I usually record episodes two weeks in advance. Um, with this episode, we recorded literally yesterday. So <laughs> yeah. when, this, when you guys see it, it'll be a... Okay, mm -hmm. so um, enough about the stupid snowstorm. We're past that. And, you know, it's 70 degrees outside. It's beautiful. And thank you yes. for coming. I appreciate oh, you're it. You're welcome. Okay, so I want to talk to you about Boil Box and Audio. So I remember when we first spoke about it, um, it seemed like it was like kind of still hidden in the shadows or whatever. And, you know, I feel like now it's like really booming. And yes. so why don't you tell us a little bit about how Boil Box and Audio started and like what the process was like for you building that and like the inspiration okay. and all that? Okay, so uh, basically um, I started just, well, this this is how it it, it all it all started like this. Okay. Uh, you know, growing up, we didn't have too much. Yeah, yeah. And you know, going to school, I, you know, all my friends they had uh, stereos, they had subwoofers, yeah. they had you know everything. <laughs> and I barely. Well, at university, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. And I barely had a car. Okay. You yeah. know, so um, uh, that's how it started. Um, uh, I first I think I went to the since I couldn't afford like something going like like to like these you know the yeah. stores that sell the radio. Yeah. Uh, Best Buy or whatever. Yeah, like the nice stores. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I okay. went to a pawn shop. Oh, shit. Yes. Really? <laughs> I, I literally went to a pawn shop. I got me a radio. I got okay. me, uh, I think it was like a like some subs that were already in the box. Mm -hmm. You know, just cheap, cheap. Yeah, yeah. And that too. And uh, so uh, basically, well, since uh, I was still in high school back then. Yeah. I was. I took like like a robotics class. So I kind of had oh, the, I, I kind of knew <laughs> what positive, negative, you know, all okay, that. all that. got you, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, they kind of, like, taught you how to, like, look for schematics and, you know. Was that university that you took robots in? Yeah. Did you know Mike Hamilton? I think he used to teach robots. When yeah. I had the Soko guys here, they recognized him. Oh, yeah. And I don't think yeah. so. I mean, I, only, I think I only went for, like, like a semester. Because then I got okay. took out and I went to Woodshop. You got took out? Oh, you got oh. took out of the class. I thought yeah. you got took out of school. I was like, oh. what'd you do? No, no, like, no. no, no. <laughs> getting in fights? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I never never fought. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, that's how he it He went to university. He fought. Okay. <laughs> Everybody from university fought. I don't want to hear that shit. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry. I didn't mean to answer. Oh, it's no, the whiskey. Good. No, go ahead. Yeah. No, yeah, but uh, yeah, that, that's 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 my start right there. Mm -hmm. Um, I uh, I got into that radio. I, yeah. Honestly, I blew it all up. Okay. Like you fucked the whole thing up. Yeah. You didn't yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know what I was doing. Uh, it didn't come with with you know like now you buy a radio it tells you oh red wire is this <laughs> yellow wire is yeah. this I didn't know any of that. Okay. So I was just more like a like a try and error thing. Yeah. 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 It all blew up. You yeah. know. And then uh, after that, um, I just kind of. My dad kind of like, uh, it was like, hey, you know, well, the yellow wire is a constant wire, yeah, you yeah. know, stuff like that. You know, yeah. he, he knew something. Oh, I knew the ground to hot and everything in that yeah. class. I was like, this is so <laughs> uninteresting to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then, I, you know, just after that, I kind of just got in, you know, just started more, like looking more into it, you know, yeah, before definitely. I bought an actual radio and okay. did it. Yeah. And once I got a little bit more of a knowledge, uh, I did it. Right. And then once, uh, you know, drove up to school, <laughs> guys were like, hey, you know, like you put it, who, who put in the radio? And like, I did. Yeah, I like, did. I was, and they're they're yeah. like, oh, do mine. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I thought he was going to say do me out of my guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I had some of them in my DMs anyway. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then, you know, just blew up from there. Like, you know, their friends yeah. knew that I did it and their friends wanted it. Mm. You know, just, just one like that. Just just friends. And the friends, good thing but, is that we live in a small town, too. So yes. world will travel fast. You know what exactly. I mean? I didn't know we were the same age either. So, you know, at Midway, we were not talking about Boya Box and Audio. Or we were not talking about Jeffrey Montreal. I don't know where they got their shit from, but I didn't have that either. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, what does that name derive from? Is, did I hear that Boya was your nickname or what's yes, that? Yes, yes, So, yes. how did you get that? It can be one or two things my, my nickname yeah oh man <laughs> man uh, that was back in middle school mm -hmm. i think it was a uh, we're taking spanish class maybe seventh grade it's okay. a, this is a you know one of my it's a, it's a girl you know yeah you know uh, and uh, she was she a pass playing or just a girl? No, no, just a girl. She just she <laughs> shout just, out to Ale, I love her. It's the wife. Okay? Yeah. I don't want Ale in my DMs trying to fight me. Okay, yeah, no, she was a good friend. You yeah, know, during, yeah. during, during seventh grade, and 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 I don't know where she just started calling me pollo. Really? Pollo. Yeah, and then I I did ask her. I was like, hey, you know why? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just came to me and I started calling you Paul. You responded, so there you go. Yeah. So you just stuck with that. Yeah, just stuck with I don't know. I hate when people be trying to come up with nicknames for me. Oh, like yeah. everybody, a lot of people like to call me Drewski, and I really think it's annoying. 
Like, <laughs> like, I don't know why they think that that's cute. Like, I like Andres, you know, something sophisticated yeah. or, you know, Andrew G, of course. Oh, yeah. But, like, where the fuck did you get Drewski from? <laughs> and some of my friends really call me that. And yeah. I mean, if they want to call me that, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But, like, to me, like, I can't imagine being in bed getting porked and then being called Drewski. Like, <laughs> <Drewski. laughs> you, know I mean? you came yeah. on the public affair. That's what I'm getting drunk. Okay, so, okay, so Poyo, like, do a lot of people call you that still? Oh, or? yeah. Well, yeah. Oh man, it, it, it's kind of, it's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I've noticed it myself that all the people that I grew up with called me Pollo. Yeah. And then after, after I graduated, somehow it's, it went to Pollito. Mm-hmm. So there's the people that call me that. So it's like, and then after that, everybody started calling me Jeffrey. Yeah. And for anybody who doesn't know, who does not speak Spanish and is watching the public affair, Pollo is chicken. Chicken. Yeah. And yeah. Pollito's little chicken. It's like you demoted yourself. Yeah, like, something. You know I, mean? I don't know. You know, I just want to um, go ahead and throw out there too. So you're actually really good friends with my friend Juan Arjon. Yes. Um, Arjon Painting. Yes. You guys are uh, their neighbors. So every t- it's so cute. Can we just give him a shout out real quick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like so, okay, so I always have to collect payment from everybody for the public affair, or you know, however they pay. And um, uh, with with uh, Juan Arjon, every time I go collect payment from him, he is like, like always having a carne asada that day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like he always wants to party, oh, and yeah, I'm just like yeah. Juan Arjon will party, party, party. And so he's like, oh yeah, come over this day. I'm having a carne asada. I was like, why can't I just come over and get the money? <laughs> you know, because then oh, it's yeah. like we start drinking. And it's like yeah, oh, yeah, shit, back, yeah, back in those high school days. What what was it like for you in high, um, like life growing up in high school and stuff like that? Did you party a lot and stuff or what's up? And uh, don't hold nothing back. This is the public affair, Jeffrey. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I mean, don't get us beat up by your wife, but I'm just saying. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> okay. no I wasn't. I wasn't. You know that 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 type of guy. I, mm-hmm. I was just like like I was always under the ra- radar. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I did party. Okay. Yeah, I did party a lot. I think I drank more during those days now <laughs> yeah. than that I could actually. Don't drink. you feel like that? Don't you yes. feel like now like we're th- we're almost thirty? You're gonna be thirty this year. Or you just turned 29? Oh, I'm going to be 30 this okay, year. Okay, I'm going to be 30 this year, too. And I am so... Like, my friends at Soko Soccer Academy love to go party. And, like, I mean, G- George's fucking pluckers mm-hmm. drinking. And I told them the other day, I was like, I am just not like that. Like, once I'm done with the public affair and once I'm done with work, I either want to go home and have sex or go home and play Xbox. <laughs> like, that's all I want to do. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. but that's it, you know? So, and because in high school, I did not party, Jeffrey. I oh, was no? such a lame ass. Yeah. So, I don't, I'm so sad. But now, you know, <laughs> I mean, don't get me fucked up. I'll drink you under the table. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, so no, you would say that you were pretty like to yourself, but you were still in the parties and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Okay, yeah. so you never got in trouble and stuff. No, no, I was, I, I was, I was always a good kid. I don't know. I just don't buy that you never got in a fight. No, I, I you actually, went to university, Jeffrey. Stop this. No, I, 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 actually, I, never in my life have I mm. fought. Mm. Never. Mm-hmm. And then maybe once I got written up for riding on the carpet. At school, and that's it. God. That's it. <laughs> he was good. I got re- I got wrote up in middle school one time because I told the kid to shut the fuck up in shop class. Oh yeah, um, and I got like in school suspension. I thought it was terrible. <laughs> Shout out Patrick Pierre. But anyway, <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so back to Poyo Box and Audio. So. When I met Jeffrey and he reached out to do sponsorship for the public affair, um, I was like, you know what? I've been really looking for like this thing, um, like an Apple car place. And I almost like bought a new car for it. And so now that you've been building my car from the ground up, I just don't want to buy a new car anymore. Oh, yeah. So um, I guess was it easy for you? I mean, like you, not easy, but you said that when you were like fucking with those wires and stuff like that, that you were blowing things up. When did you finally get it to where it was like just clockwork for you? Man, it was after after I got a hold of a, a radio that had the diagram and, it's, and it told me all these wires, what they're for, mm-hmm. then that's when I was like, you know what? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Like, and it's just basically, you know, your power, your ground. Yeah. So would you, s- oh God, please stop saying those words because I'm telling <laughs> that class was so terribly boring. Oh, yeah. And I hope yeah. whoever watches for my job, I love my job. I just, that class was like, oh my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I talk about, anyway. <laughs> so, okay. So, you know, so when you like install things like that, what, what, you install things like that in people's car, mm-hmm. and then you also install like custom subwoofer enclosures. Yes. Um, what else is it that you do besides those types of things? Because again, I don't know where you're going to put subs in my car, and I really am going to jump to positions when you do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So um, man, I, I just do it all. Um, anything okay. that I learn how to do, I'll you know start doing it. Mm-hmm. But 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 the thing with me is I don't just be like, hey, you know, like I think I could do it. Let me do it on your car. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I just do it on something that's mine. Because oh, okay. you know, if it's my property and so, if something goes wrong, it's, it's fine. yeah, yeah, no I big deal. Okay. Yeah. So do you, do you find a lot of like that? Do you have a full time job as well, or are yes. you trying to make Boyle Box and Audio like well, your thing? Or? Well, I do have a full time job, but okay. I am trying to make this my full time yeah, job. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and you know, thanks to thanks to this podcast and everything, uh, man, it's 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 just good. <laughs> I appreciate that, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It really means a lot that people like because we, for the record, Jeffrey and I did not know each other when he reached no. out for spot, like not at all. Um, I was just on his face, like, oh, he's kind of cute. Sure, we can do that. And then um, <laughs> then he put, you know built me a car, and I was like, oh, bet. <laughs> so yeah. you know, I really appreciate you saying oh, that. Yeah. Thank you so much. But um, 
you know, I guess as far as like, you also do a lot of giveaways on Boil Box and Audio too. Yes. Because we actually, we actually, <laughs> there's, there's the whiskey. <laughs> it was like a bad blowjob. You know how it goes back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, when we did, we did um, a giveaway on Boil Box and mm-hmm. Audio because yeah. um, you were installing a backup camera on my car that night. Yeah, remember? The backup camera and the steering controls. The steering controls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you guys something. Jeffrey fucking does it all. I don't know. I, I didn't think those things were possible. But I guess, I guess I'm just not like tech savvy like that. I mean, I fuck with computers all day, but like as far as electric. Cool mm-hmm. things. It's like no. Um, so what what inspired you? I guess like to do giveaways. Like, why don't you tell the listeners about what kind of giveaways you do give? Away, like, way they can follow you and then like. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, well, you know, like I said, starting off, I didn't have much, and I've mm-hmm. always, you know, I always, always like audio mm-hmm. and whatever. But uh, and and now that I kind of have a little bit more than I did, yeah, yeah. I kind of want to give back, and you know, like you know, there's there's people that are, that they'll message me, hey, how much for this? How much yeah. for that? And I'll tell them the price, and they're yeah. like, and then they just don't message me back. Maybe it's <laughs> a little bit too expensive, yeah. or you know, but but you know, that's that's how it is. It is, yeah. And uh, so I was like, you know, I was thinking about it, and so my uh, so so my first giveaway I did in, back in December for Christmas, and mm-hmm. that, I did a, you know double din radio. I was like, you know, just yeah. for somebody to win it or whatever. Okay. Some somebody to be happy with radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I mean, after that, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep doing it. So yeah, I just I got you. so I decided I was gonna do six giveaways a year. You know, every two months, oh, do something. Okay, something. gotcha. So so first it was the radio, and then this February when we did the we did the speakers. Yeah, yeah. Right? The, those cute red were those cute red speakers. Yeah, the mids. Yeah, I wanted those. They were oh. cute. Oh, no, no, we'll, <laughs> I feel like I could jam to positions with that real quick. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll, we'll hook your car up. Yeah, yeah. No, for real. Yeah, it's for gonna real. be like pit my ride. In a way. In a way. <laughs> yeah. Way. Yeah. Jeffrey's like main goal for me is to like as soon as you can paint it, I'll be happy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we need to find. We can wrap it. We could. You know what? I really want to wrap my body. Not my body. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wrap the the image of me on the public affair. Like actually, one of the um, the producers out there were telling me about it. He should put. He said you should put your image on one side of the car mm. and the public affair on the other side of the yeah. car. I was like, that sounds oh, yeah. really hot. But I kind of want to like edit it where like I have the clothes on. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'll really catch everybody's attention. Oh yeah. And yeah. um, you know what? Okay, so Boyle Box and Audio focuses on. I mean, you obviously give people new car radios and stuff like that. Would you say that there's competition in town? And if there is, how do you stay above the fray and like yeah. not get caught up? Um, there is competition, but then okay. again, the way this, this is how I look at it mm-hmm. because I, you know, I mean like besides this whole car and stuff, I do also do tinning. And, oh yeah. Okay. And so, you know, like, like radio wise and tinning and all that. I mean, there's plenty of shops out there. Right. The way I look at it is, uh, is, you know, there's plenty of cars that are out there too. Right. And you know, every dealership's getting, you know, shipping and getting new cars all okay. the time. People are buying new cars, buying used cars. Yeah. I mean, so there's, I mean, there's, there's a lot of cars out there for everybody to, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, this, this, I don't worry about it. So, okay. So, so you're not necessarily like, oh, I gotta be better than this person or that person. No. You, are you just kind of like, we all have space together. And, you know, yeah, yeah. Something like yeah. that. Like, like I'm not, I'm not competitive. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I'm better than anybody you else. You know, and I, I kind of feel the same way because there's somebody that came up to me earlier. There's another podcast in town that somebody asked me if they if I felt like they were trying to copy me mm. and I was like, podcast wasn't made just for me though. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So I'm kind of hoping that person, well, I, first of all, how did you copy me? The public affair is its own thing. Exactly. You know what I mean? Second of all, it's podcast. Everybody can do it. Mm-hmm. And then third of all, like maybe if he's using the same or if they are using the same type of like promotional techniques as me, I hope they're either being inspired or whatever. And actually me and that person really talked and we're okay. really cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So I don't know. Like, I just feel like people are always willing to like pit people against each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like it has to be competition. Like, Oh, he's trying to be better than you. Like, no, like, why don't we just do it? Like, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That person has their own audience. I have my own audience. Exactly. And I have Jack and Coke and he has not Jack and Coke. I don't know. What they yeah. have. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. So that's how I look at it, man. It's like, okay. it's, it's like, there's times where I stop at a stoplight and i look around me and i'm like well that car needs 10 that car you know like like you know like like i'm like there's cars out there yeah yeah you know there's there's no reason to be competitive and besides you know like if a customer comes and he likes your quality he likes your work yeah he's gonna tell his friends they're gonna come to you you know it doesn't matter if if you have all these you know if you're at you know spending all these um all this money on advertisement Mm -hmm. if you know you're putting out shitty work then it's the shitty, right? Yeah. I feel like the work speaks for itself. Exactly. The, the product speaks for itself, for sure. Yeah. I definitely say that. Yeah. We shouldn't have given me this Jack Daniels. <laughs> I told you the story about that shit, right? <laughs> yes, I did. In the beginning of the episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that old ass man. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway. Um, no, I think that's really cool. So how do you find the time, Jeffrey, to like... It seems like between work and Boil Box and Audio, because you post a lot of cars that you work on on Boil Box and Audio. And let me tell you guys something, too. It's some of them old, like, like rinky-dink cars, and I don't know what... You'd be putting the baddest radios in them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so how do you find the time for like personal life and stuff like that? Like, what are you interested in outside of that? Man, uh, well, besides build, try to try and build Boyle Box and Audio, it's, uh-huh. it, it's, it is a little hard. Uh, my wife does kind of get onto me a little bit. Does she? But, but I mean, it's in a good way. Okay. Like, you know, like, like she, she kind of like, like I kind of get like, get like, uh, how can I say this? I get lost in work. Okay. And then she kind of brings me back to yeah. like, hey, we got to spend time and stuff like that. Oh, like this. with the family. Exactly. Okay, got yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, you have what? Uh, two kids and then one on the way, yeah, correctly. Exactly. So, are you still building your tribe over here? Or what's going on? No, no. This, this is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. <laughs> you heard that, Alera? <laughs> oh, no. We agreed on it. This, oh, you this, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting snipped? You or her? I think both of us. Okay. Just to be you safe. You know what? I, I don't want to put his business out there, but I talked to one of my friends who actually did get a vasectomy, uh-huh. and he said that you have to ejaculate like 30 times after that. Oh. I like, first of all, how do you count? And do you have sex 30 times or do you masturbate 30 times? What would you prefer? Half and half. Half and half. <laughs> okay, you go to work and uh, I'll work on 15. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, and then when you get back, we'll do like five. You know? Right, yeah. <laughs> no, he's like, you know, we just kind of lose count after that. Like, you, I was like, what do you tally mark or something? <laughs> no, that's oh. pretty lit, man. Okay, so mm-hmm. what's what's for the future of Foil Box and Audio? So, I mean, with your, full, with your full-time job, that's not you don't do the same thing, do you? No, no. My full-time job is just tinning. It's the tinning. Okay, yeah, so gotcha. they, they got me at dealerships tinning. Yeah, you know, yeah. Doing that. Now, is that, through, is that like through a company or is that like your thing? Or No, no. That's that's through there. Through them. Uh, okay. it, yeah, it's another. It's a template. He's, he's not trying up. to say who the company was. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's like, yeah, this is my thing. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, yeah. I, well, right now, what I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to get my garage bigger. Because I mean, okay. I'm, I'm in my garage. Been in the garage. Know, yeah. Like, that's, that's like, I've like a lot of. You know, successful businesses started in a garage mm-hmm. like Disney, mm-hmm. HP, Apple. Uh, I didn't know all that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so I mean, I got a garage. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm uh trying to add another, another like another. It's it's already a two car. Okay. But I'm trying to add like a little side section to it, yeah, so I yeah. can do all my woodwork. Okay. And do all my tanning and all my radios you, you should, and that other one. Yeah, you should put a bar in your garage too. That way I can be there. Like when people are doing <laughs> oh, excuse me, Andrew, do you with the public affair? Did you oh, want yeah. some do you want some Jack and Coke? It's not from that one liquor store, but it's from the other one. Oh yeah, it can be done. Can <laughs> you be know done. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, man. Um okay, so um you know, how about the quarantine stuff? Did that affect your business at all too? Or uh at the beginning kinda of did. Okay. But then after after a while, you know, well, you know, just people just, I guess people started not to care about the quarantine yeah, and yeah. started going out and whatever. And so yeah, I mean, for the, yeah. for maybe for like the first <laughs> week or two, uh-huh. I, business was a little bit down. Mm-hmm. And after that, it just came back like normal. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it kind of didn't really affect me. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Now, now, are you an only child or did you mention that you have brothers and sisters? I got brothers and sisters. Okay, yeah. I think we talked about me being gay. Was that, was that with you? Yes. <laughs> we talked yes. about me being gay one time. You have a sister that's gay? Yes. Okay, yeah. I don't want to put her business out there. I mean, yeah. She's gay. She's gay. What's up, girl? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I got yeah. nothing against yeah, it. Yeah, but I was going to say, because, you know, with you being like, I guess it sounds like from a small town and stuff like that in your family, do you do you think that maybe she dealt with some ridicule? Like, how did you, how were you able to accept that? Well, I mean, I've, I've always kind of. Not that it's relevant to what we're talking about. I'm yeah, just I mean, I, I mean I've, I've always kind of knew she was, she wasn't, you know, <laughs> like, a, like, you know, I guess. Like she liked to play football and. Well, not really. Oh, okay. It's just, it's just the way she was. Like I knew it was something different about her, but you know, like I said, I, I don't care. I mean. I mean, she's still my sister. Yeah. I love her. I thought it was really nice that we become good friends and I was gay as so fuck. Like, I was nervous <laughs> because people were nervous to hang out with me. You oh, know what no, I mean? man. Yeah. And he was like, no, I have a sister that's gay. I was like, oh, sweet. So you're in. All right, cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. Okay, so for Boil Box and Audio, the main thing is just to kind of just push it out there. Yes. What, when's your goal to, like, make it full time where you can start living off of it? Man, it's getting close. It's yeah. actually oh, really? getting close. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, because of, like I said, because of all this, because of, uh, because not, not just because of you but also mm-hmm. because of me you know posting oh, yeah, and stuff like po- that oh you post a, a fuck ton yeah. like i think more than me yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> point box and audio yeah but yeah, yeah. Okay. but yeah i try to i mean um i'm getting to the point like i said where i'm i'm i have too much work okay I, like I, I can't be at my regular job right. and do this because it, I, there's not enough hours yeah yeah and and the thing is with uh with uh with making all these sub woofer boxes and stuff i don't mm-hmm. like working at night because you know, I you know you can't see. <laughs> you know, I don't want to cut off a finger. I've had so many, so yeah, many close yeah. calls. And oh shit, for yeah. Real? yeah, I got yes. you. Yeah, so so I mean, you know, like right now I'm behind on box, especially okay. now 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 with the snowstorm, it right. just pushed everything back. Um, what was the craziest thing that somebody's ever asked you to like put in your 
in their car or something like that. Man, r- right now, okay, there hasn't really been a craziest thing. Okay, you know, because I want a DVD player in my trunk. Oh no, <laughs> oh, I can be done. And when you open it, I want it to be pouring everywhere. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to my dad's house with that, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I guess, I guess, craziest would be as in the biggest, you know, like some a big exam. Ex- ex- eh. Insane, insane build. Insane. There you go. I couldn't say it. It's a check. It <laughs> okay, guys, look. So, um, as I stated before in prior episodes, um, we take small little breaks on the public affair, like to kind of get reevaluated with the cameras and stuff like that. And um, I was asking Jeffrey, hey, did I miss anything during the interview? Because we're about to wrap up soon. And he's like, I never really wanted to do this. <laughs> And I thought you were talking about no, the podcast. No. no. So speaking of which, uh, what was it that you that you wanted to do before Poyo Boxing? Like when you were growing up, surely you weren't like, oh, I'm just gonna build custom stuff no, for enclosures. No, no. Like, like I yeah. said, uh, like you know, like the only reason I got into audio, yeah. like early, was because I want I couldn't afford it, so I did it myself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But like, like from the get go, I wanted to be an architect. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. I, and funny thing is that I actually went to two colleges, yeah. and they both closed down on me. Oh shit! And here I am. Was that like Everest and <laughs> it was a, uh, can we say that <laughs> the, uh, one of them was, uh, ATI? A- yeah, ATI. ATI. I went okay, to ATI yeah, they, yeah. and then I went to ITT tech. Oh, they did shut down. Yes. Didn't they? Yeah. Yes. And oh, both okay. times, you know, me, me trying to like make, make do something better, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, especially cause you know, with my family and whatever, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, get, you know, I always wanted to, you know, give them the best. So did could. you go to college or no? You no. Are, well, those are the colleges that, yeah. Yeah, that's just, so that was So do it. you think that you, like, as an inspiration and as, as a father, do you think that you can tell your son, look, like, I was able to start this because I got bored one day and I had no money. And now look at what daddy <laughs> built. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and now look what daddy built. And it's like, boom. Like, I mean, so, yeah, yeah. so how do you think you can push to be an inspiration for your kids? I mean, without going to, because, you know, people think, oh, you have to go to college. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, you don't have no, to. No, we talked about that a hundred times. Oh, yeah. Roman the Realtor episode two, throwback. Mm-hmm. He, <laughs> he didn't go to college. Look at him. Mm-hmm. Got more money than all of us put together. What's up, Roman? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So um, do you think that do you think your son would want to follow in your footsteps too, or like does he help you out there? You know what? Both of them actually. Oh really? But yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm in my garage, so mm-hmm. you know, I don't I don't keep my 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 kids inside or nothing. You know, if they want to come outside, they're more than welcome. They're you. My right. my son. I remember one time, uh, I was doing a you know I was tending the whole windshield yeah. of a car. Yeah. And I was in there, you know, I, I laid it up and I was about to squeegee. Well, I'm over here looking for my squeegee. And he's got it. And he's uh, over here like. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> How old is your son? Uh, he's uh, he's going to be three. Why, why you don't think about it? <laughs> <laughs> he's a jack. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> It's the Jack. It's the Jack. Well, um, like we said, everyone, Jeffrey, if I'm not, am I missing anything? Are we good? Oh, <laughs> uh. Jeffrey. <laughs> It's the Jack. Jeffrey, thank you so much for coming on to episode 34 of The Public yes. Affair. I had such a good time. Me too. I'm really, I, this is like the most interaction that we've had each other, besides putting on the backup camera, but that was different. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah but, um, you know, I really appreciate you coming on. And, you know, I just want to tell you that it means a lot to me for you to say that um, the podcast helped push your business, even oh, if yeah. it was just a little bit, even oh, if yeah. you got like two more people out of that. Like, I'm really happy to know yeah, that. Yeah, I get people all the time. They're like, hey, I seen that, you know, you did his radio. Can oh, I get okay. one? Or, oh, good. Or, you know, if they can't afford that, then, you know, something. A yeah, cheaper, but, you know, cheaper. Yeah. always well i really appreciate that and i mean i appreciate to hear that and i really hope that for Poyo box and audio that it really does grow because um it's really like awesome yeah. so um what's the best way for our listeners to reach you if they have any questions about maybe getting a new stereo in their car or something like that okay well, well i mean uh uh, you know my 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 number is everywhere. Okay, you know especially on all your commercials and stuff or your sponsor. Oh things. yeah 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 it's oh, on there. And, and this we should put the ad on this part. Okay, go okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can call the number on the screen for Poyo Box yeah, and Audio. You, just, yeah. you call it if 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 for yeah. some reason I don't answer the phone, just text me because okay. most of the times if if I'm doing something, I don't like having my phone in my oh, pocket, yeah. so I'll go put it somewhere else or I have music playing on it, so yeah. you know I don't answer it, but just yeah. text me. How about I just do your ad for shits and giggles? <laughs> Let's do it. You guys can reach Jeffrey Monroy at Poyo Box and Audio. He focuses on installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building customers, subwoofer enclosures, and much more. He's kind of a jack of all trades. Make sure you hit up Jeffrey Poyo. Pon- Jeffrey Monroy with Poyo Box and Audio on the number on the screen. I almost said Poyo. It's the Jack. <laughs> it's the Jack show. <laughs> Jeffrey, thank you so much for coming on to the show. I had a really good time. Thank um, you for I inviting a little me. Bit. No, it was fun. I yes. really did. Um, oh. um, big congratulations to all the success with Poyo Box and Audio, and I hope that it goes further. Yes. And um, you know, I look forward to more sponsorship with you and to get my car. You know, of course. No, no, no. We're, we're, I, we're, I want to pimp my ride. Okay. Oh, yeah, I want to. I will roll on Hewitt bumping positions by Ariana Grande. Okay. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna continue to upgrade your car. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm looking yes. forward to. It. I just need auto start. That's all I need, especially after this mm-hmm. fucking ice shit. Oh yeah. I was like, damn, we should do the auto start first. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, yeah. But that's next. I appreciate you.
Thank you so much for coming on to the show. Um, everybody, thank you so much for um, all your support with The Public Affair. I really appreciate it. Um, I also want to give a shout out, another shout out to Rogue Media Network and their new studio. If you guys haven't noticed, we are recording in a new studio. Um, so they've been working really hard to get everything together. And um, I just appreciate their patience so much with trying to still push The Public Affair and make it to where it's at today. And um, so congratulations to Rogue Media Network on your new studio. And we'll be recording in this studio for further episodes. And I'm looking forward to it. I got some more fire on the way, of course. Um, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on YouTube. YouTube youtube.com slash the public affair follow me on instagram and facebook at the public affair before we go of course i want to give a shout out to a couple more of our sponsors to elite barbershop with my boy sid rodriguez located on hewitt drive you can download the cut app or call the number on the screen to book um he got, i got a new hairstyle okay i'm doing i'm doing like on well i vibes okay <laughs> you know the reggaeton artist yes. um you can also call marcus Guerrero, chris reyes or santos cordova um they'll get you all looking all cute and sexy too and santos has been cutting my hair too you know santos is doing good out there make sure you guys hit up elite barbershop for your next haircut and of course the soko soccer academy with Dom Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez located on Franklin Drive. They offer team, small group, and individual skill training. They also have open play on some Friday nights. They also specialize in soccer training and fitness training with Dominic Gutierrez, Isaac, and London Carrillo. Thank you, Soko Soccer Academy, for sponsoring The Public Affair. Of course, Waco, thank you all again so much for all your support for The Public Affair. Um, I also want to give you a big thanks for supporting my last episode with Denise Baltazar in the midst of our snowstorm. Yes. Um, it has reached, as of this episode, over 800 views, and I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me. I'd miss the the shit storm that we were going through. <laughs> so thank you all again, Waco. Um, everybody who tunes into the public affair, I love you all so much. And don't forget, darling, to always keep it between us. Cheers. <laughs> Am I missing anything that you want to talk about? Or well, I, I, I never really wanted to do this. <laughs> like like being the audio stuff. Like like I wanted to be an architect. Oh, <laughs> let me let me squeeze that. <laughs> I thought you. Were Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.